<laughs> it's March 19th, and it's time for Astrology Reading with Matab. Yes, and it's our 47th wedding anniversary today. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and, you know, I have to tell you that astrology does help with relationships. It really does. Now, I did not do her chart before we got married. All right? So, <laughs> it worked out fine anyway. Uh, we got married on a Saturday, the day of Saturn. And, you know, Saturn can be challenging, but Saturn also can give you longevity. So, I attribute the fact we've been here for 47 years. So, Saturn likes things that last a long time. So, you know, that's it's an interesting thing. We also got married you know, on a Saturday, as I said. So, it's not a bad day to get married if you're willing to go the distance. If yeah. you're willing to be disciplined, if you're willing to be patient, you have a long relationship. So there you go. Now, you have your... My sun and Mercury are in Aquarius. And my moon and Venus and Jupiter are in Aquarius. Aha! Uh -huh. We got a lot of we got, Aquarius. We, we got Aquarius covered with almost every planet. Now, in astrology, oftentimes you'll see that in charts of couples where there is the similarity of signs and set together. So I, that is one way I think we can really understand each other quite well. So, yeah, you know that. I know that's how we act. That's how I act. I'm like, yeah, it's fine. We get along. So compatibility is cool. But there's also the opposites that attract to in, in a chart. So uh, in your partnerships, there's always a sense of like, oh, this compatibility is similar. But my gosh, there's something really different here. So different. <laughs> So different, right? So different. Right. I, I can't recur anything. She can recur everything. So that's, that's a good difference, right? I guess. Well, that, that combination. But oftentimes you'll find couples who are like an Aries will like a Libra. Libra will like an Aries. Because you know, they're, they're opposite, but there's something about them. Libras love the relationship. Aries love themselves. <laughs> so you come together and it's going to work out just fine, right? It's just fine. And then there's the other thing, too. The, the, so the opposites do attract. They also have challenges. Cancer's like... The home life, they like emotional intimacy and talking. Capricorn's the opposite. Capricorn just likes to be kind of old in and do what they want to do. They're very serious minded. So the Capricorn can give a little seriousness to the Cancer energy. The Cancer can give a little emotional content to Capricorn energy. And so your partnership relationship, it's good to have opposites, it's good to have similarities. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And compatibility. Compatibility, yeah. In fact, you know, that was one of the main purposes of astrology. Reading start in India was a reading. You go before you got married, you have your charts like that. You start to look at things, see this is what watch to watch for, this is the good thing, this is the challenging thing. Uh, and so it was supposed to be a very important deal. In fact, it was actually unthinkable up in maybe recent times that you would get married without the astrological insight. So you still have that. Because I do that. We we we, we actually we work with couples and we do couple readings, uh, also working with couples for their health, or individuals as well for their health. Uh, past lives, karmas. You look at relationships, that's a lot with past life karma. For sure. We work with that as well. But I love doing a couple of readings for either uh, the couple together or maybe just you by yourself getting the goods on your partner. Say, yeah, tell me about this person. What's really going on here? Uh, should I, we get, should this, we should go farther. Now, I can't give you counseling, but I can tell you what the stars are saying. So, come see me, come see us. Counseling, consulting, astral, astral readings. And uh, it's fun. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs>